Hi there, welcome to Easy Riffs Anybody Can Play. This is episode five. Today we're going to look at the um, verse riff to Boot Scoot and Boogie. This is just a basic boogie woogie riff in the key of E. Um, let's just go through it one note at a time here. So we're starting out on the top string open. We're going to play that string twice. I like to alternate pick this with a little bit of kind of a swing feel, like a da 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 type of feel. So we hit that top string twice, then we're going to play the third fret and then the fourth fret with a down and an upstroke. So we've got just basic straight alternate picking down, down, or down, up, down, up, down, up, over and over and over again. So we have open, open, three, four, and then the next four notes are going to be all in the fifth string. We're going to do the second fret twice, and then we're going to do the fourth fret once, and then the second fret once. So, so far we have open, open, third, fourth, second, second, fourth, second. Those are the fret numbers. Okay, we're going to do that riff, I think, four times during the verse while he's singing, anyway. take that entire riff we're going to drop it down a string so instead of starting on the sixth string we're going to start on the fifth string and do the exact same frets <laughs> this time instead of doing the riff four times we're just going to do it two so we're doing the uh, top two strings we repeat that uh, four times total, and then we drop down and we do it two times, starting on the fifth string. So all that straight through is going to look like this. Drop down. Then we're going to go back up to the top two strings again. Okay, the next part of the riff, we're going to drift up to fourth position here. So our index finger is going to be hovering above the fourth fret. But we're actually going to start on our pinky. We're going to start on the pinky note on the seventh fret of the top string. Play that note twice. And then we're going to go to the fifth and sixth fret of the next string below that. So we've got seven, seven, five, six. And then we're going to go down to the 4th string and play 4th fret, 4th fret, 6th fret, 4th fret. So, so far what we have in 4th position looks like this if we do it super slow. Then we're going to repeat that 3 times. time we're going to switch up the ending a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in the same place, the 7th fret, and do 5 and 6 on the 5th string, and then we're going to go to the 4th fret, and then play that twice, and then we're going to go to the 5th fret on the top string. Okay, so let's listen to that whole part. And then we can go 
back to this again. So let's do the whole thing. So let me show you that. Start out with that open, open 3 4, just like we did in the first riff. Okay, and then we're going to hammer from the third fret to the fourth fret, and then go to the second fret of the fifth string. So it's open, open 3 4. Hold on, let me go back. It's open, open 3 4, and then hammer from 3 to 4, and then. Second fret of the fifth string, and then do that hammer on again, and then that second fret again. So watch the whole thing. I'm going to do it around half speed. Let's do it closer to tempo. See you next time.